Hi, good morning. How is everyone? It's not morning. It's one o'clock. I had one of those nights. One of these nights. One of these crazy old nights. I'm gonna find out pretty mama what turns on your lights. That was really bad, but um, yeah, the full moon is calling. <laughs> The fever is high. I had one of those nights that I just couldn't go to sleep. So I came in here and I laid on the couch with my pillow and my blankie. And the dog got behind me and Gracie continued to meow and holler. It's, I think she wants out at night. But she can't go out at night because other cats get out at night. And I don't want her in a fight in the night or during the day, for that matter. So, anyway, I'll insert a video of her wandering around at 1 o'clock in the morning, hollering. <laughs> and then I took a couple of little quick quickies of what I bought yesterday at the Woodstock Market that I will include as well. But first, let's talk about... Let's give them a stop it, Tracy. Uh, let's talk about when we were growing up, for those in my age range, and we would go to the fair. Ours was called the North Georgia State Fair. And, you know, we had to play the game. Play the games and win the prizes and all the things. Well... I saw something yesterday on someone's page that had the prizes that we used to win back in the early 80s, late 70s. I don't know, maybe even in the 60s, but since I was born in the mid-60s, I don't really remember those prizes. I just remember that we had to go to the fair every year. It was like a thing. Yeah, some of the prizes were those uh like a sprite bottle that had been all stretched out and it was like two three feet tall um were those used as an apparatus for something i okay so i smoked in high school and i hung out with the smoking crowd at the smoke hole, as it were. Because, you know, back in the day, we could smoke at school. Who ever thought that was a good idea? But we could just walk outside and smoke. I mean, it was fine. So, uh, yeah, I did hang around people who did smoke dope. But I never liked it, okay? And I'm very naive when it comes to the apparatuses of smoking dope, except for what I've seen brought to jail or in my brother's room. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, the post I saw was talking about the tall bottle, and then it had these feathers hanging from a clip, and then it had something else that I can't remember what it was. And I, it reminded me of when I first went to work at the police department. I was still in high school, okay? And I got a job working at the Cobb County Police Department in working in the radio room answering calls or working in records entering reports. So, uh, yeah, no problem at all, except I had a little, my first car was a Mercury Bobcat, and then it died, and then I got a, I think it was a 65 Chevelle Super Sport, and then I got a full-time job, <laughs> and I got a Chevrolet Chevette. It was used, and it it was a good car. The used one was a good car. It was just a hideous color. But, I mean, that's fine. I didn't care. Because, yeah, it was better than the Bobcat or the Chevelle. Now, the Chevelle could fly. But the Chevelle didn't have seat belts. 
which we didn't really use anyway. And uh, it had one bench seat across the front that was so slippery that when I turned the corner, I would literally slide and have to hang on to the steering wheel and then scoot myself back over. And then the shocks went out on it. So I look like Cheech and Chung bouncing down the road. Well, anyway, none of that is the point. The point is I would go to the fair and I would win these cute little clips that had feathers hanging off of them, which I found out later were roach clips m used for smoking pot, just in case you don't. Cage, and just in case you don't know what a roach is. It's a, it's a marijuana cigarette. Yes, it's a marijuana cigarette. And you put the little roach clip on it to hold it with. Because you want to smoke it all the way until it's gone. You don't waste a bit of it, okay? And, uh, yeah, I was driving to work with said roach clip hanging from my mirror in my car. Now, a little bit later on down the road, when I went to work full-time at the sheriff's office, and I was working in the intake part, and I would see people come to jail with such things and uh, other things, and they were charged with drug paraphernalia. I was like, what? Say what? Drug paraphernalia? I have been working in law enforcement by that point for, for probably six years, and I didn't know those feathers were used for pot purposes. I didn't, because like I said, I tried it. I never liked it, so I just never really got into all that stuff. Yeah, driving around with a roach clip in my car. Uh. <laughs> But I still want to know, was the bottle, was the Sprite bottle that was all stretched out used for, as a, I don't know, was it used as a bong or something? I don't know. Oh, I do remember when I was a kid, some weird looking plant started coming up next to one of the buildings out back. And I uh, believe that's where some seeds may have fallen. They got pulled up. I mean, my dad was a cop. <laughs> Cops, kids, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I went straight into law enforcement, so I didn't really live that life so much. But yeah, I, you know, they were children of the 70s. Uh, they were born in the 50s, so they they hit their prime in the 70s, the early 70s. So... Yeah, and my brother told me not too long ago that he and his best friend actually signed up to go to Vietnam, uh, I think when they turned 18, but right around that time is when it ended, so they didn't have to go. I said, do you know that mother would have cut both of your thumbs off? That's what she always said. My boys ain't going off to war. I'll cut their thumbs off, and I was like, well, that seems aggressive. She was just afraid of, you know, uh, well, you know, war. War. What is it good for? Dadgum fly got in. Honest to God, I hate flies. I do. Uh, it's, he's over there on the door. So what? I, I don't understand. I opened the door for 3.2 seconds to let an animal in or out. There's my pillow where I slept last night. And a fly comes in, and but he goes straight to another door and then practically kills himself trying to get out. I don't think he went. He'll be back in a minute going to the door. <sighs> they get on my nerves so bad. Anyway, I'm going to insert whatever I said I was going to insert. Oh, yeah, uh, the videos of what I bought yesterday and... Uh, the video of Gracie at one o'clock in the morning and I'll be back okay okay that's one thing that I bought the butterfly framed pictures 
I thought they were super pretty. They're in my bedroom. That is another thing I bought. It's a wax melt thing <laughs> that you put wax melts in. And I bought the wax melts. And it's like a pumpkin cinnamon flavor. It smells divine. And yes, I bought another owl. I don't think it's going to stay here because it's a little too tall. Uh, I think. Because it kind of gets in the way of the TV ish i only buy owls now if they're different okay like that one's different it's different okay Ugh. <laughs> would you hush and one last and one last thing before i go I had to turn my heat on this morning because at 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, it was 71 degrees outside. Oh, the bag fell over. It's okay. It's okay. It was 62 degrees inside my home at 11 o'clock. It's going to be 81 today. But I had to turn my heat on because it was so flippin' cold. I didn't even want to take a bath. It was so cold. Ugh. <laughs> so I did. I turned my heat on for the first time. Oh, well. Whatever. But anyway, that's the end of this one. Y'all tell me about some of your fond memories of the fair, if you ever got to go growing up. Make sure you hit that like button or comment or both because it sure does help me out because I'm still making half the money that I was, even though they seem to be playing a lot more commercials. What is that about? Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries. Toodles, manoodles, stay silly, my friends, and smile. Piss people off, make people happier. Just make them wonder what you've been up to.